another day and new models to play with. As a part of AI week, Cloudflare today announced the availabilities of new models on Worker's AI. And I am excited because these are the kind of models I like to use and like play around a lot with. So there are two new image generation models and a text to speech and a speech to text model. So you can find more information on the blog post where they go through, you know, the provider. So the image generation models are from Leonardo. Uh, it has like two different models. Uh, the one of them is called Phoenix and the other one is uh, Lucid Origin. You can see the example code snippet. You can also see the output for these images in here. And then there are models uh, from text to speech and speech to text. These are from DeepRAM. Uh, and yeah, so again, the, the code is in there. So you can go ahead and try it out yourself. And I will also walk you through my implementation of the image generation models. So again, we're going to use our goose traveler example in here. So over here, the goose is still traveling in Berlin, is enjoying the Berlin summer. And the goose wants to take new pictures. So we thought, hey, let's try out new a camera or in here, the models to generate the new images. So what I am going to do is just like uh, yesterday, we're going to go to the start page. So on the start page, again, I'm going to enter my name. We can select an activity. So the goose went to clubbing and the goose also went to the flea market. Today, the goose feels like going, you know, just for a walk in tear garden. So let's select that. And this time it's going to be a Bauhaus style, uh, art style. And let's keep it black and white. So we're going to click on generate image. And this one is going to use a Lucid Origin to generate the image. And I love this image. It is really giving you like the Bauhaus style effect, if I'm not wrong. And the speed at which this image got generated was just amazing. I did not do any video tricks. I did not cut the video. You're seeing the visual as it is. Let's, let's try it once again. So, uh, right now the goose was in tear garden. That was fine. But near tear garden is the Berlin wall and the goose wants to visit the Berlin wall. And in here, it wants to take the picture in the retro booth style. And let's have a techno light life kind of color scheme. And let's click on generate image. Again, no tricks and very quickly, it is just going to generate the image for us. And here is the retro photo booth uh, image of the goose near Berlin Wall. All right, so let's go to the code and take a quick look. So over here, the code still remains the same. Uh, we still have our prompt. This is again like the template of the prompt. Uh, but now because this is using workers AI, we are using workers AI bindings in here to run the model. This is the Lucid origin model. We are passing in the prompt and we are also specifying certain dimensions. You can specify the dimensions that you want. You can specify the width. You can say how many steps it should take to generate this image. What kind of negative prompts you, uh, it should take care of and stuff like that. And again, I, because I am using a, uh, AI gateway as well, I have configured AI gateway in here. Now over here, this would uh, give us a base 64 image. So we get the base 64 image, we get the base 64 image, we convert it into a buffer and then we store that in our R2 bucket. So if we go to the gallery, we will see that. Now this was the Lucid origin model. Let me show you the other model that we have. So again, I'm going to comment this out. So now, and now I already have the code for the other model. So let me just uncomment this. So this is the Phoenix 1.0 model. It is again using workers AI. So the same parameters we pass in the prompt. We can also specify the dimension, the steps and everything in here as well. Now this particular model gives you a readable stream. And because it is a readable stream, we have to, you know, get the chunks together and then set up the buffer. Once we have that, we are storing it again into our R2 bucket. So let's go back to our application. I'm going to do a quick refresh and now we're going to generate a new image. So let's just enter my name again. And this time a goose is kind of tired with a lot of walking and it just wants to go and watch a movie. 
we're going to select that. I'm going to still go with the Bauhaus style. And lastly, the color scheme is going to be Sunday brunch. And I'm going to click on generate image. And this is again going to generate the image using the new model. And over here, as we can see, the generation was quite instant. And this is like a really good image of a goose uh, enjoying a movie in Berlin in an outdoor theater. Again, this code is available on the GitHub repo. I'm going to link it in the description as well. And I am curious to see which model you pick for your image generation needs and how has been your experience using image generation model. See you next time. Till then, enjoy.